guys, how you doing? <laughs> so, my name is Empress. I'm Gladys' friend. Glad to say hi. Hello. <laughs> so, I'm going to one of our other friends' place for a sleepover. We're having a girls' night. With, we had to pound yam, and oh my god, the first time I pounded yam, I had all these blisters <laughs> on my fingers. Oh it's my the first time I pounded yam, it was horrible. You have to add some water. It was to horrible. It was. <laughs> Horrible, but I've not pounded yam since I've been here, so I don't know if I can still pound yam. No, I think once you get it, once you, you once you yam pounded, yeah, it's, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's a forever thing. It's a forever thing. It doesn't once leave. Once, once you do it, <laughs> that is it. <laughs> I feel like Igbo people, you guys have too much soup, too many soups. Like it's it's just it's really my favorite Igbo soup is Oha soup. Oh, yeah, my and that's one favorite. Yeah, and favorite I can cook that Zizai. very well. Was just, I just kind of like it. To be honest, my favorite change is based on my mood. <laughs> Oh my god, this is your character. <laughs> I have based on your mood. Oh my god. Well, can you guys see? Well, more reasons for me to get a car or learn how to drive. It's time. I think I get I don't know if it happens to you. You feel like the universe is talking to you. Do you feel like that? Because for some time I feel like the universe has been telling me, okay, it's time to do this, it's time to do that. Yeah, wait. Yeah. So I for said the, I said this the universe is probably the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Oh. Yes. Mine but the truth, it. I will. Yeah. It's my Holy Spirit it's too. Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. But the thing is, I think sometimes the only reason why you refer to it as the universe is because you don't want to accept the fact that it's God. And I think it's people who are not in tune with God that always refer to. Hey, so I'm not in tune with God. God. No, 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 no. I don't want to. I'm not in tune with God, though. The, the signs are there. Like yeah. it's time for you to get to the next stage. It's time for you to mm -hmm. get your car. It's time for you to get your license. I know it is time. People. It is, and I'm getting Sometimes it. Sometimes some people are just frustrated, and they want someone to share their frustration with. I know, like you want to make me a bitter person. I cannot be bitter, my people. I have God. For Cannot be Can you sugar. <laughs> Honey, mixed with sugar and cinnamon. And I like turmeric. And turmeric and thyme. Ew. Mixing everything I like, all the spices and condiments, I like. <laughs> I that everything, bit. everything together. Oh. When did this happen? So the first time the police stopped me, mm -hmm. the very first time when I started driving. Okay. I was using my phone as a GPS. So you know how you oh, use yeah, your phone, yeah. like, which is what everyone, everyone does, does now. So I wasn't like taking click on my phone. My phone, you know, I was using it. And you know how the light flashes. So the guy yeah. stopped me. He was like, "Oh, um, ma'am, you were using your phone." I'm like, "I was using it as a GPS." GPS. So like, mm -hmm. "Okay, I saw the light you're using your phone. Give me your license." I'm like, "Okay, I, I was using my GPS." GPS, yeah. And he was like, "Still, you're using your, your phone." phone so. I'm like, okay. Now I'm panicking because this is the first time that police yeah, are stopping me. Oh my goodness. So, after he gave me a ticket and gave me a court date and everything, yeah, he took my license. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm laughing now because at that time I was crying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like, you like, I'm, I'm not even taking you with a ma'am. Why are you crying? <laughs> because you're in police. Are you taking my license? Why are you taking my license? With a ma'am, just come. And you go to the court and you get it outside. And I'm like, I don't want to go to the court. I don't want to go to jail. Exactly. Uh -huh. They're like, can I get to go to jail? I'm like, okay, but if you go to court, you go to jail. That's going to jail. I was so naive. So he took my license and he, was, he, he gave me a ticket. Yeah. So he was like, you can drive whenever you get stopped or anything. Just show them the ticket as your proof for driving. Okay. I was like, okay. And I was then like, okay, can I have a license? I'm like, no, I can't give you a license. You have to go wow. to court to get it. I was like, no. So after the guy said I believed it, I chased him. I chased the police. I'm telling you, I didn't even know you're not supposed to chase the police. You're not supposed to. Oh, but this was like a few years back. You wow. Know, like, <laughs> so I remember when I, when I, my family recently moved down here and my younger brother and I got into an altercation like 
like a physical altercation and I broke his nose by mistake. I didn't know I broke his nose though. So we had like this little fight then. He went to school, me I went to school. I, I was in school, no one called me nothing. I got back from school and my mom was like, ah, you broke your brother's nose. I was like, how, when? She's like, when I hit him, I broke his nose. I was like, wow, where is he? So like, I can check and like, apologize. She's like, well, he's in the hospital. Oh my that the police came. I'm like, police came well, for what? Police come, so he went to school and he started bleeding through his nose. So they're like, oh, what, what happened? Yeah, then he said, oh, my younger sister hit my older sister. Hits me, oh so the police. God. So that is abuse, yes. right? So yes. they so came. That he's in a so, yeah. Program. So they came, and my mom was like, she was. She had no our moms now. She had rap on her chest. They just batched in. They didn't knock or nothing. They just boom. Even when I even got back from school, I saw the door broken. This happened like six years ago. So they went boom into the house. Luckily for them, or oh, luckily for my mom, let me put that way. She was not naked then. Then they're like, oh, looking for me, oh. They tell me my mom hit me. So my mom said, check on that bed. They check closet, they check bathroom, everywhere looking for me. Then, then they asked my mom, that, that view is beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love that view. Let me show you guys the view. Chicago is beautiful. Chicago is beautiful. Let's see. This is one of the reasons why I Chicago. But they people mess with me. They yeah, but you get used to it. You're like the thing in the country, you're like always like it's going to be over very soon. Just six minutes, no, two months, three months. We are here. Come on, come on. Hey, come on.
looking up your ancestors and you realize that your second cousin, no one else in the family knows, what will you do? Will you break things off or remain in a relationship with your no, cousin? <laughs> I don't care about town. That's just your friends. So we're starting yeah, up again. We're supposed to be mentally stimulating our minds. That's your child. <laughs> but it's going into something else. Option. It's like you and yeah. your sibling. Can you your repeat? mom, social media, your ex. Can you repeat the question? Okay, the question is, you are, you are having problems, relationship problems. Who do you, under no circumstance, tell? Your bestie, your mom, social media, your ex. My bestie. Relationship problems, you don't tell your best friend. I say my bestie. It says who oh, are you who not gonna you tell? tell? Oh. Yeah. Uh I mean, I'm not gonna tell I anyone. Tell my ex? I'm not gonna tell anyone at all. I'm not gonna well, tell my mom. No, nope. yeah, but okay, I'm making my own option. I can't tell my mom like because it's my relationship. If I want to tell someone, then they're gonna start judging my partner. But that's not the question, though. Answer this question based on this question. Okay, who am I gonna tell? Definitely not social media. You have to pick one. You have to pick glasses. You only have one option. Wait, I said social media now. Ah, between X and social media, I can't pick. But um, social media because relationship now. Nah. But X, how do they put X? How do they tell my ex about my relationship? That say I don't and like. Then, it, so. he, 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 he you will not use it. Yeah, like no, please, no. That is that is disrespectful to yourself because this is your ex. You are moving on. Why are you mm -hmm. going back to say, oh yeah, yeah no? Uh, your turn. Have you? No, it's not my turn. Yet. No, no, it's your turn. So it's. It's my turn. No, ha, fellow. Yeah, so. X is again. Okay. No, it's no, it's glad it's <laughs> Because I remember like this, like this, like this. I don't want to mix it up so that X is again. That evening, I went to the radio station to record a segment. This, uh, let me show you all the people that are here. So some of them I met at the station. Obviously, Empress, you know I've, I've known her for quite a while now. You're not getting a lot of everything that goosey suit. Yes, and sometimes <laughs> women think it's the man's fault. Why don't you start it up? Why don't you initiate it? You know, if you think, okay, we're doing the same thing all over again, okay, do something new. But you what know, start it up. In the, like, in you initiate it and he says no. He, he is your partner. If he initiates it and he says no, it's fine. It's not he something. He says no something, every time. It's every not something to be embarrassed about. Every time you bring something up, okay, let's do this. No, obviously, let's go there. No. Obviously, if you guys are not married, that that's a red flag. Mm -hmm. If you if it is something that if you are someone who is spontaneous and always like to try like something, something new, something and new. you know like and your boyfriend is you know like some someone who is yeah, just introvert, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, some introvert can be red quite outgoing yeah but if your boyfriend is someone that you know like okay this is what i know and this is what i like and this is what i want to stick to okay then you're probably not going to be in a lasting relationship mm -hmm. if you yes. decide to be in a lasting relationship with that person then you have to make sure that this spontaneous spontaneity is not going to be a Love deal breaker them. for you hmm. Mm -hmm. my people you wait till they talk of spontaneity spontaneity <laughs> no use and play spontaneity is very very necessary in a relationship, yes. you wear that guy that you have to yeah. every time your your girlfriend would tell you or your wife would tell you, you say let's start something new. <laughs> say something new. Well, anyway, I don't know. They tell me say we we'll start something new. <laughs> now, so something old would they do? Because oh, for some something people, old you know, things are passed away. Mm -hmm. It's okay. It's I like boring. old things. Boring, old no. things, now, now, old soup, now they sweep pass. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? If you cook soup, you go keep <laughs> on. After seven days, you want to eat time, you go come and rearrange yourself. Uh -huh. be so I mean, when you say complain, do you mean complain to other parties? Oh, yeah, other okay, person. Okay, that one yeah. is wrong. That wrong. one is wrong. Don't put your... I personally don't put your relationship out there, I beg you. 
do not do that. If you have any issues with the person you are with, talk to them. Don't put your business out there because the thing is, people don't really care. They'll just use it to make jest of you. Mm. Is to talk about you, and you're also making yourself look bad. You're also making people look at your significant other in a different way. Mm. So you're going to make people disrespect who you are with, and make people also disrespect your relationship. Don't do that. You have any issues with who you are with? Talk to the person. That's simple. Yeah. I, I think most often what people don't understand is when you when you offend. You know, when you talk about your your significant significant other, other yeah. with someone else, and you guys go back and make up, mm -hmm. whosoever you talk to the, with them doesn't know you've made up, mm. and they're gonna always look at your significant other with, with that, that eye. Size, yeah. Why would you want to bring in someone to your problem? Because no matter what they do, they're always gonna look at them with the eye that okay, this is mm. she did this to my friend, or she did this to my daughter, or yeah. she did this to my sister. You know, they're never gonna move past even giving them the whole information because you know sometimes we like to sugarcoat things yeah. to fit our yeah. Yeah. You know, so whatever advice your parents is gonna give you or your girlfriend, they're gonna give you advice based on the information that you gave them, not based on the you know like not based on the right information that will help you because. You have to understand that what might have worked for someone else will not work for you. You are the one in the relationship. What works best for you? Don't go about broadcasting your relationship to mm. everybody else. Because at the end of the day, you are still the one wearing the shoe. And mm. it's still going to be watching you. Mm. guys so i am going to watch the black panther movie i'm all glammed up and in my element and i am doing my thing doing my thing seriously guys <laughs> good night with bae <laughs> bae is me <laughs> On a more serious note, guys, I'm going to see the Black Panther movie and I'm going to put my full outfit. I'm looking good. I don't know why this one is popping right here, but like, um, okay. Hopefully I don't go late for the movie while getting ready for it. But this is so exciting, guys. Like, history is being made, y'all. Seriously, this is epic. I'm so excited and I can't wait to watch it. Everyone is like raving about it, so. Hopefully. I know it's gonna be good. Even if it is not good, I mean it's a black movie. So <laughs> <laughs> look at my co-partner. Yes, I'm my Uber and I'm on my way to Black Panther. Um, guys, I had to take Uber because I'm not sure if there's gonna be parking. So, yep, I'm on my way. I can't wait. My sister's already there. They couldn't wait for me. Sad. Anyways, so hopefully I get there on time. So we are you guys, this was legit epic. Like seriously, this is like the best movie ever. <laughs> oh my god. I'm so proud. Literally.
good, wasn't it? Snapchat. Wasn't it? Good. Wasn't it? Was it? Was it? it was really, really good, you guys. Like, it was so good. Like, Black Panther it was made me so proud to be an African. Like, you know, like, yeah, I'm an African. <laughs> Oh my god, guys, so this is legit the best move of the century. Hi guys, so uh, I'm on my way back and I am definitely going to be making a review on this movie. This movie is like epic. And also, you know, like, guys, we really need to step up. There have been a lot of mistakes that our parents made that we are the ones that are going to correct it. And we have to step up because you might think, oh, all is well, Black Panther, you know, like uh, African magic, all those cool things. But the truth is there are people who are hurting from this. As we're watching these movies, I couldn't help but think, how are we forsaking other people? How are we letting other people worth just because we are well off? When we're supposed to help, we're not helping, we're not offering the help that is needed. Anyway. Hi guys, so I just came back from watching Black Panther. That movie is epic. Epic. That movie is like of the hood. It's like the best movie ever. Like the movie is so good. After you're done watching it, like you walk out, walking like your queen, like I'm from Africa. Don't talk to me. You wouldn't have the word to describe the sensation, the feeling that you get from the movie. You know, like, and was, they did a lot of research, they were so in depth about, you know, like the African uh, tradition, the cultures, it was just so good. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. But I suppose watching the movie, Holy Spirit began to minister to me. Sometimes we let hate rule our life. Sometimes we let hate rule the things we do. Sometimes we let hate and anger and evil motive guide us. Even in in Wakanda, you can see that someone was fighting out of rage for revenge for a mistake that could have easily been corrected. Sometimes we don't know the amount of hate and anger that we can inflict on someone else. I pray that this unity stand forth and bath something new, something good, something extraordinary because. As you guys can see, when Black Panther came out, everyone dressed up in the African attire. It's like, okay, we are going to represent motherland. But we are still fighting against each other. Whether we like it or not, whether we want to agree or not, whether we want to believe it or not. It's time for us to stand as one. It's time for us to stand as people who know what they are called to do. If you notice, Lupita Nyong'o always talked about how she was, you know, like she has to go about her calling, not her career, not her profession, not her work, but her calling. What is your calling? What have you found out? What do you know about yourself? What have you found out about yourself that can help someone else? It's not about, you know, like sometimes you get fulfillment not from the things that you can get money from, but from the passions that are birthed inside of you. What are your callings? Because we might think, you know, like Black Panther is just in an entertainment, but there are some really, 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 really good lessons that lies in that movie. And it is for us to take it and run with it. Guys, thank you for watching my vlog. I'm so glad that I was able to do this vlog. So support the movement, uh, like, share, subscribe comment send me your feedbacks and let me know what you think 